morning everybody. It is a beautiful fall Saturday, probably one of the last of the season. Going to be about 60 for the high this afternoon and then it's going to be quite chilly the next many days. So I thought I would just bring you along on this day in the life of what our family's going to be doing. I'm going to make a French press for you here because many of you have asked how I do that and what it is. And then my husband and I splurged and bought a special coffee related item that I'm going to share too. He's working on putting that together too. So it should be a full fall day. I'm going to just enjoy the weather while we can. Do a little more garden cleanup. So I'm just going to share our day. First thing I do is grind about three tablespoons of whole bean coffee in my little cafe. Um, grinder. I got it from Amazon and I also got my French press from Amazon. So I'll link those for you. And then it should go about to the vegan word, a little bit lower than that. And then you have hot water, not boiling. If you have boiling, it'll make the coffee taste burned. I fill it about to my gold line, sometimes a little bit fuller than that. You let it sit for two minutes and then you stir it with a wooden spoon and then you get your top and you press it down and then you enjoy. It really has such a nice and bold, unique flavor. I do like dark roast, so that is how I make it a little bit darker. Um, it makes probably enough for three eight ounce cups for us. So if you want more, you would have to make another pot, but we really enjoy our friend's press. So here's our little splurge. I shouldn't say little. It's not a cheap espresso machine, but we enjoy our coffees and we saved up for it. So we are able to enjoy that. So he's working on cleaning it out. And I had to change out our little stand here. Um, this I've had in the basement. We had it when we lived in our little apartment uh, five years ago before we moved here. And I'll show you what it looked like before here. And then, so I just painted it the green, same color as our previous stand, but we needed something just a little bit bigger. And then this will work to store like some coffee stuff because it is, oh, except the cleaning rig, <laughs> empty. And it was my grandparents, so it's definitely a vintage piece and it'll be nice to have extra space right there. So that is the stand I used to have just for our Berkey. So that will need to be cleaned out and figure out what to do with that or maybe I should sell it. I'm not sure or keep it for a little house. So I'm looking at an applesauce muffin recipe because I made some applesauce um, last week that needs to be used up. So I'm gonna try this one. I made an applesauce sourdough muffin recipe, but um, I wanna try something without the sourdough in it. And so I found this one. Um, I'll link the recipe and let you know how it turns out. Sister, stir. Muffins are done. They are a little soft. I think I kind of underbaked them, but they are delicious. You want to try a bite, Nevaeh? Okay. All right, so my husband went to go get a trailer that we borrow from a friend to put the garden um, garbage in. So he went to go do that, and then we'll um, load that up. It is like 11:20 already, so we'll load that up. He'll probably take it out, and then it'll be lunchtime already. So the day's. <laughs> The day has gone very quick, but Saturday, it's kind of nice to have a little slower day, just do house projects and get that type of stuff done as well.
So garden cleanup is mostly done. My husband's just finishing up a few things. It's pretty windy and I'm disgusting and windblown, but uh, we got the trailer and the cool thing about the trailer actually it is now ours. So the place where we usually get the tra trailer, my fr our friend, um, he went out to go get a trailer that he has and someone else was out there and just gave us a trailer. So it's really cool how God provides in that way. We use trailers for this type of stuff not too often um, and we have a shed we can store it in so that is wonderful what a blessing to have that i also got some of the front landscape grasses done it was so weedy the creeping jenny this year was just awful um so that needed to be trimmed out and cleaned up a little bit got just some of my other garden things trimmed up and done and so now i'm going to finish doing a little prep on the meat we're gonna have tonight we're having a beef sirloin my husband's gonna grill and i got most of the dishes all done already i just try to clean up as i go when i'm in the kitchen that really just helps me feel good and um, help me prepare for every single meal that's coming and just to also help keep a tidy home just like clean up as you go that's that's a motto in my house so here's a meat, it's a giant beef sirloin. I'm gonna just season it with some salt and pepper and leave it in here to marinate for four or five hours, the time we have left. We get our beef from a friend who has um, organic beef cattle, so we buy a third of a, of a cow. So that's really nice to have on hand, and so we'll do that. I'll probably do some garden potatoes um, with like some fresh rosemary on it and then some sort of a vegetable. And I do need to go to our store today too. So we'll see what I'm gonna end up doing here. All right, so I made a quick trip to our local store and got a few things. Um, these are gonna go in with our supper tonight. It was just $1.99 and like a head of broccoli was $4. Then butter is on a three day sale at our store for $1.99 as well, so I actually got five of those. Avocados were three for two, which is better than Aldi right now. These organic mushrooms are $1.99 too, which is really good. I've been buying those at our store. This was in the clearance section because it was ripped open, but it doesn't expire until 2022, and Nevea loves this stuff, and it's really not that bad for you at all. And then overripe bananas are 19 cents a pound, and we make smoothies a lot, banana bread, put them in muffins, stuff like that, and I needed some eggs, so no, we don't open that. So that is what we're going to do, and I'm going to get some supper started gonna get some of my potatoes to roast tonight I have red and some russet and then I have my butternut squash I'll use a red onion this is a lot of garden produce so this is like our pantry storage area as well all right such a beautiful color put some rosemary on there olive oil salt pepper and I'll roast it at probably 400 for about 45 minutes or so How they turned out the steak is delicious it smells so good we use a uh, hickory cherry. cherry I never get it right cherry wood and I have some sauerkraut and then just all the veggies so yum I'm all showered up now. The girls have been in bed for over an hour. I take care of covering the pumpkins outside. It's gonna freeze. Took care of the rest of the garden produce, getting that washed up and ready for our roast that we're gonna have tomorrow. And so I am ready to sit down and enjoy my hot cup of tea, read a book or watch a show. Um, before I feed Nadia again here. So I hope you enjoyed coming along with us on this fall day. It was such a beautiful day to be outside and fun to enjoy the espresso machine we got um, and just share with you what we got to do on this day. So hope you're having a blessed and wonderful day. Love you guys. Mm -hmm.